The elephant beetle is considered one of the largest beetles in the world. Rarely found throughout Central and South America, the elephant beetle is an insect in the order of Coleoptera. Coleoptera include ladybugs, weevils, jewel scarabs, and longhorn beetles, also known as beetles. <laughs> In terms of characteristics that stand out for the order of Coleoptera, the elephant beetle's two tusks and its massive size really make this beetle unique. For reference, I'm a six foot six man, and this is my hand in front of one. The males are seen with tusks, and they will use these in defense to battle other males and to win over females for mating, but also used when competing for food. While their tusks may seem ferocious, they're harmless to humans. During the day, they don't move much, but at night, these beetles might break a car window while in flight. Does anybody else see where my brain goes when you see one of these flying? Who remembers the 80s movie Batteries Not Included? Seriously, where are the batteries on these beetles? This is some older footage from 2006 when I was a tour guide at the Monteverde Butterfly Gardens. The elephant beetle is dimorphic, meaning the sexes of the same species show distinctly different features. This means the males have one look and the females have another. This is the female. Males can be up to 12 centimeters in length, while female elephant beetles are usually four centimeters. The tan, sort of orange and brown color on the male comes from lots of tiny hairs and is soft to the touch. And when you see this large beetle, also keep in mind that for it to get to this point, as an adult, it had to go through three years in a decaying log during its larval stage to look like this as an adult. Surprisingly though, after three years in their larval state, they'll only survive as an adult for one to three months. And since their numbers tend to be on the lower side of a healthy population, it's worth mentioning that habitat loss because of human development is largely driving their reduced populations. Females lay eggs in decaying logs, so removing habitat, turning up the soil, these things destroy the place where young elephant beetles are growing. We must keep these amazing animals in mind, as development seems to be a constant in the name of human progress. If you enjoyed this video, you already know how you can help us out. Hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching Highland Nature.